Well, it's a new day. Let's see what direction we go. Come on along. We realized we were staying ahead of a storm. Montana had had horrible weather the day before. We left North Dakota just before horrible weather came to the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Headed towards Minnesota. Once we got there, we planned to head south to Iowa. All right, so we've made our way to our campground here in Minnesota. Beautiful park-like setting. We found Oak Park Campground on all stays, and it was a really nice campground. The camp office also had a little store, and the laundry was immaculate, as was the bathhouse. We found the nature trail, and we also discovered that the paddle boats could just be signed out at the office. The girls are happy to have a place to walk after the day of driving. Well, our original plan had been to head south towards Iowa. There was another National Historical Site we wanted to go to, but due to weather, which included tornadoes and flooding towards the south, so we decided to head east towards Wisconsin. Okay, I'm in the lane she's telling me to be in. So. Hey, So since we detoured to Wisconsin, we had to come check out some cheese. There's so many toys out. So many toys out. All right, so we were driving on I-94, uh, heading east uh, here in Wisconsin, and we came across a billboard for Caddy Cheese, exit 28 and decided to take a little detour and come out to their cheese shop. And uh, yeah, it happened. Um, guys, they have got cheeses I've never thought of. Everything from a pepperoni cheese uh, jack to uh, some amazing garlic and chive cheddars. Don't forget the smoked cheddar. Um, and the smoked cheddar and the smoked gouda. Anyway, they make all their own cheeses right here at the factory. You get the opportunity should definitely stop in here and visit. You can take as long as you want to have as many samples of the cheeses as you want. And don't forget, they also have a tour of the factory. All right, so we have just left the Caddy, the Caddy Cheese Factory. And we're on a back road, kind of trying to avoid the construction on I-94. So I like this driving on the back road. Wisconsin is not just farms and flat land. We've got hills. Oh, this is such a cute little town. It is an adorable. The nominee. Wisconsin. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yep. Someone's going to have to correct us if we're wrong. I said it was Minnenominee, and Brad figured it out. It's me no money. Me no money. Me no money. <laughs> it's too many M's. Ends, O's, and ends. <laughs> Me no money. Wisconsin, it's a town. Yes. Since the Caddy Cheese Factory was such a hit, we decided to stop in at Foster's and see what they had to offer. All right, so we stopped at Foster. I'll let you know what exit this was off of I-94. One of the best things was they had a dog park, an off-leash area. It's at exit 81 off of I-94. So staying with our theme, since we were in Wisconsin, we found a Culver's. This one happened to be the world's largest Culver's. This is definitely the fanciest KOA we have ever been to. We found that this KOA really was the best one we had been to thus far. It had everything. Immaculate shower and laundry room. It had a playground, it offered basketball, horseshoes, volleyball, baseball. Of course, what we liked the most was the dog park. It also had a store, a game room, a meeting room, a TV room up at the clubhouse. And it had a nature trail also. Oh, they're happy now. It's beautiful grass. It's mowed. This is how they like to play. <laughs> Shake it off, baby girl. <laughs> Good running. Good running. <laughs> oh, girls. 
This is a dangerous banana. <laughs> Always wrestling, girls. I like to run. All right, early morning start. Leaving the KOA. Today's agenda, coffee, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio maybe. Let's see if we can do this. All right, so this is the driving day. Thank goodness it's been overcast but not raining. Um, we left Wisconsin, drove through Illinois, now we're in Indiana, and we've just entered the Eastern time zone. Yep. The Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio has a really nice spam camp, and we're really fortunate to be able to book ourselves in there. You said it's the foothills of the Appalachian? I believe it is. These are our beautiful Appalachian Mountains. First glimpse of them since we started heading east, and we're in Ohio on our way to West Virginia. Yep. Just starting to drive through the Appalachians. My, I'm not sure if you can see it, but we're looking at a bridge, a big bridge. I think that's going to take us over to West Virginia. You should see it now. Going to go over the Ohio River and enter into West Virginia. Brand new state. So here we are in West Virginia at our campground for tonight. And uh, we got here about 4.30 and it's definitely still bright sunshine. But here we are. Brush Creek Falls RV Resort is off of I-77. It has the normal amenities. Additionally, it has an arcade with a general store and a gym mine. It also has a go-kart track along with playground, basketball court, miniature golf, and a swimming pool. Good morning. We are on US 460 heading east, leaving West Virginia, heading towards Virginia. <laughs> I know you're still in West Virginia. <laughs> the name of your road is Possum Hollow Road. That's right. And you're in the Smoky Mountains, right? Appalachians and the Smoky Shepherd. I was raised in Virginia and grew up with the Blue Ridge Mountains as a backdrop. So even though we live in Florida, this felt like we were coming home. We headed to Lynchburg to see my mom and tell her about our trip across the USA and to visit with friends before we actually did head home. There's Gumby. Once we were in Virginia, we were able to slow our pace down. We spent two nights mooch docking at my friend's house. <laughs> All right, so we're leaving Virginia today, heading towards Point South. We got something special for the trip today. We got chicken tools. Okay, we're heading into North Carolina. So this is travel through a big city, even on a weekend. This is Saturday traffic. We got to South Carolina and stayed three nights at our son's house. Really enjoyed our good visit. All right, this could be the last leg of this journey. 
Um, we're either going to get home today or tomorrow. I think Garmin knows us well. Yes. We've trained it well. On I-95 leaving South Carolina. So long, South Carolina. Big tires. A big tire right there. <laughs> Two 18 wheelers carrying gigantic tires. What can they So we're at the Cypress Campground and RV Park near Legoland just for the night. We've almost made it to South Florida. But um, they have a nice playground, shuffleboard, and a really nice pool. Once we got to Florida, we were super excited about actually getting back home. So we got an early morning start for our final 150 mile drive and headed south. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're currently working on our next video and we invite you to come along with us and enjoy the ride. Thank you for watching and see you next time.